Okay, trimming video. <laughs> Big trimming tool, small trimming tool, and needle tool. Cracky clay, the same color as whatever I threw. I'm going to note the shape of the inside of my vessel. I put it down, I line it up as best I can to the circles on the wheel head. And I take my needle tool, and in this area, I'm going to measure so that I know how to center it. So I'm going to turn it on slowly, and I slowly approach it until I make contact, and then I freeze. Now, no line. I drew a line from here to there. So one finger on one end, finger on the other end, thumbs in the middle, push away a little bit. Now it's more centered. Come again. Same area. And now my line goes all the way around. I'm centered. Once I'm centered, I take my drier red clay, put my hand on top, and press it down. Don't press in. Press it down. in three places. And now I'm going to clean up. I can either peel this off and see, note how wet my clay is. It's leather hard. It's not dry. If it's dry, you can't trim it. So I'm going to cut all that clay on the outside off. And I'm just cleaning it up. I'm not thinking about making my foot yet. I'm just cleaning up all the nasties. If you want to use the big trimming tool, you can. It's totally a personal preference. Just cleaning it up. I'm going to make this all smooth. So I'm going to go a little faster. make sure my hand doesn't wobble so that the bottom is level. And now I'm going to cut this away because it's too far out. And I'm just going straight down. This is all extra, so I carve all that off. You don't want your foot to be really narrow. If it's really narrow, your bowl will shake back and forth. So I need this to still be far out here, but I can make this go in a little bit more to echo the same shape that's going on inside my bowl. So to expose where my foot's going to be, I'll just pause that. The outside of my foot's going to be right here, and the inside of my foot is going to be right there. I'm going to remove all of this and this. All this is going to go away. So this is my foot, so I don't want to carve that down. And then I like the small trimming tool. If you like the big one, that's fine, but I find that I'm just more comfortable with this the whole time. And now I'm going to come at this and carve it all away and leave the smooth part because that's my foot. If you're not getting this kind of chocolate strips, then your clay is too dry and you're not allowed to trim. It has to be nice strips coming off. always a lot of excess clay on the bottom, on a bowl especially. So you want to carve all that off and blend it in. I don't carve a whole lot down here. I'm just making these meet up so that they're nice and clean together. So 
I'm really, I'm not pushing as hard down here. I'm just letting it, my hand relax. And then at the, this section, I'm really carving it away. How much to carve away? To test it, you push on it, and if it concaves like this, then you need to stop. But that didn't happen, so I can carve a little bit more. The more you carve off, the lighter your bowl's going to be in weight when you're done. Test it not concaving so I can carve a little bit more. Will, will you give me a pencil? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's thin enough in that section. I can feel it's getting a little thin, so I'm going to stop. And now I'm going to carve out the middle. Now, I know that this is how deep I can go because my bowl does this shape on the inside. So since I was able to carve this deep, then just continuing that line and ignoring this will tell me how deep I can go. It's a good idea of it. So, I carve, I go straight down. All this clay adds weight. I want to remove as much as possible. So this is getting close to the level there, so I'm going to stop. Check it. It's not concaving, so I can go a little further. And that's a good thickness. So now I want to design this. If I want to make it a little shorter, I can make it a little shorter. If I want to make this go in, I can do that, which I like doing. So I'm going to carve this in a little. This is just personal preference now. I don't want a sharp edge here, so I'm going to carve off that little edge that's forming. Smooth it with my fingers. And this is a little too thick. I don't want it that thick, so I'm just going to go straight down and cut all that off. done. So I take my pencil and I carve my name. I leave that until it's dry and then I dust it off so that I don't have any boogers. Now bowl. I have my bowl. Ta-da! Ta-da! Hmm. Cool.